Hey yo, what up? It's me, man. Deluxe in the building, and the flight McQueen and DDG fight is all fake. And here's why: I got proof and some red flags that I'm gonna pull up on you guys. Drip, splash. Before you go, say, "Oh, yo, who the hell is this nigga? Like, who even cares about you? I know you don't care, you know. Like, please don't go dislike before you even watch the video. Like, at least watch half of it. You feel me? So, as you guys already know, there's this whole beef with the whole flight, McQueen, DDG, everyone like going crazy, and you know, as some of you guys like to call it T. And today I'm here to spill some. So sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, and let's go. So if you guys don't already know, I'm gonna get you guys up to date with how everything started, how everything is just been set up. So Flight React makes a video with my queen's sister. They make a dirty truth for there, and oh boy, that thing was dirty like flight is a nasty man that guy is disgusting like how can you make such a dirty video with someone's sister like especially your boy sister like do you not have respect for your boy okay Mwah. you can look at my Mwah. chin what else the, uh... vagina just about everything. Like everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dirty little hoe. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, very dirty, right? Like it makes no sense. Also, bear in mind this girl is 23 years old, like a fully grown woman. 23 years old. She is turning 24 like soon in the next month or something like that. So she's a grown ass woman. Now my queen being flies boy didn't like that. He was like, yo, you're my boy. Why are you making a video with my sister? You know, like a dirty truth for there, especially licking and kissing my sister all around. Like I'm not with that. So they make a back and forth video. My queen pull up to flight house. And next time again, he pull ups on him and the fight, the whole fight went on so now you guys are up to date let's start with the red flags first of all if you bring your beef to youtube that in its own is the number one red flag like if it's actual beef and you're pissed at someone especially someone messing with your sister i personally don't really have a sister so i can't really relate but i know how guys are overprotective of their sisters you know but bear in mind she's 23 years old turning 24 she a grown ass woman but i get it you know guys are overprotective so if you really care about your sister and it's not fake why do you why is why do you involve youtube in the first place just go to the guy's house if you're fighting you fight you feel me that's where it's at the first red flag is you put this video on youtube when you could have just called him and not involve you know your fans there or anything because whenever fans gets involved it gets dirty we all know the second red flag so mcqueen makes a video he pulls up on flights in his house this guy opens the door there's no one there you two are alone one on one if someone is messing with your sister and you are annoyed at that person what do you do you spoke on the phone already clearly he doesn't care and he wants to do what he's gonna do with your sister so you pull up on him one on one what do you do you don't take your camera with you you are you just go you feel me like you just go where i'm from that's how things are handled you just go you pull up and it's just you know on site everyone is catching it but this guy pulls up on him does nothing he just talks to him something he could have done over the phone no need to actually go to his house but fair enough you know he wants to go and talk to his boy one-on-one -on -one and be like yo chill out with my sister cool now third red flag <laughs> my queen pulls up on flight on the road and we don't know how he found out he was there how he how do you know where he's at do you have gps on his phone so clearly this thing must have been set up right like someone must have leaked it someone must have snitched and so far no one has said it's snitched so what we have now is it was set up right and here's the third red flag bear in mind you are mad at your boy for you know making a move on your sister so you are you are very pissed off you are mad you're going crazy you want to you know inflate damage on this person but here's what my queen does. Oh, shit, Don't cover the mic, please, Don't cover the mic. Try catch the whole thing because it's clearly for the YouTube, right? This guy is handcuffed to a girl. On the day you are pulling up on the guy, you want to mess up. You want to, you just want to. 
Oh, you are handcuffed. You are doing a challenge. Okay, that's cool. But that's a third red flag there. That's a big one. Like, a very big one. <laughs> it's, it's funny because the girl actually had to go through this side as well, like his side to get out of the car. But you could have just taken it off, which he does just like two seconds after. Okay, maybe not two seconds, like a bit more. You get out of the car, that's when you take it off. When you could have just done that in the car. But that's that's it's no it's just me looking into you know the little stuff. But this guy pull ups on him, goes all you know, mission impossible ninja turtle, you know, tapping on his feet. No one can hear him, no one sees him, he gets the perfect chance. He sneaks up on him. Perfect chance, he sneaks up on him, nobody can see him, everyone is facing this way. He has the perfect chance. This guy is gonna punch this guy's brains out. Like he's got flight perfectly set up. He's, 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 he, flight is dead. At this point everyone is thinking, damn. The nigga dead, right? Cause you sneaked up on him, you have momentum, you are running. Everything is in Mark Quinn's, you know, hands. Like he's got him dead on sight. And what does this guy do? <laughs> this guy runs up on him, all mission impossible. No one sees him. He's got the perfect time to snap, you know, get your revenge. Get that punch you've been wanting in. Get, just, you got him. And this guy goes, say this is flight, walking, you know, green, 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 green. And McQueen comes in all sneaky up. What does he do? He goes. This guy literally goes to just tap the nigga on his shoulder. He just goes to push him. That's it. All the whole sneaky mission impossible, all seven James Bond, Ninja Tattoo moves that you did was just to go and push him. Like it's some American football, like they, this guy turned some quarterback or something. Like I, I just don't get it. Like that in itself alone is a big, big no no. That alone tells you how this whole thing is like set up fake. Because if it's real and you are mad at someone, especially your boy for messing with your sister, you. You don't just go and push him, you go and he's dead on sight. You give it to him, you give him the hands. You let him feel it, you feel me? But clearly, there's something more going on here other than it being real. See, I'm from the UK, right? So this thing is happening here before with the whole side men and the beef and the distracts and everything. At the end of it, it was fake. This is exactly what's going on here. They are all boys, views are going down. You know, it's like, how can we get more views subscribers because obviously if there's no beef or drama going on youtube gets a bit still no one is happy it's like everyone you know loves them some beef so it comes with the views the money the subscribers you get everything for you now the whole squad everyone is making videos about this dark charcoal black charcoal I don't even know him like he's making a video about it and guess what he's viewed quadrupled next also made a video about it. Guess what? His views going up. Even Bilu, who is not part of the squad, is like making videos about it and his views are just skyrocketing. Everyone involved is just making bangs from this whole thing. And now the McQueen and Flight fight aside, McQueen is in DDG's ears, you know, talking about how Flight was messing with his cousin from months ago when you gave him permission to do whatever he wants to do. DDG is involved in this whole beef as well and like everyone is literally involved and Samuel Soluminari is also involved in this whole beef because he called out DDG for being you know falling off and everything and they're going back and forth and DDG is now in the beef in this beef as well with flight because you know about his cousin and now McQueen goes to make a video about Soluminari so it's like everyone is trying to feed off everyone like everyone has everyone's name in their titles and it's like oh I pulled up on this I'm talking about this I called this guy everyone is in everyone's business and I was watching the video about McQueen you know with Soluminari in the title for the first five ten minutes this guy is just talking about Soluminati and his hat and his head like someone is trying to 
talk to your sister or do stuff with your sister and you're talking about his head his heart how his head is like mojo bob he said i don't even know bro I, I couldn't even watch it i was just like okay yeah sure so at this point it's very clear that this whole thing is fake it's staged up i'm not saying it's completely fake because you know clearly if someone your boy especially your boy talks to your sister you're gonna have you're gonna be in your feelings somewhat but not at this level that they've brought it to that everyone is you know making videos about it and back and forth it's not it's not that deep is fake at the end of the day everyone is making money they are getting views the subscribers are going up and they're making this money now the only person i can say is talking sense in this whole thing is pretty like he literally he was like he's the only one that's you know gone there you know like oh yeah we are all boys why is no one calling flight he's the only one that's going to be like yo let's talk about this what's happening what's going on like everyone is just bombing everyone for views and everything like he's the only one but then he's doing as well for the views so you know it's like it's a whole crazy cycle and someone commented this on pretty's video that i found interesting as well i mean it's not really a red flag i guess them two pretty and fly haven't got you know beef so it's like they were basically posing for their thumbnails and it's like i guess i mean yeah, I'm Pudi P here. Thank you, might be here. Yeah, um, I'm here. Should I park in the front or should I park in the garage? All right, flight crew. About to go downstairs. Get this boy. Young Pudi P. What's going on with you, what bro? bro? All right, y'all. Finally here, you know what I'm saying? At Dude, my nigga Flight, flight Crew. Hold on, go, go, hold on. FTC. Flight Team Stand Up. It's, it's staged man like it's staged literally the only people this thing should be about is flight my queen and my queen sister that's it everyone else is irrelevant in this whole thing it shouldn't be at this like, momentum that everyone is somewhat involved in it someone snitched on someone this one you know talking behind someone's back isn't it, it shouldn't happen it's all for the views this thing happened in the uk with the side men this is like clearly the b-tech version of it like the side men did rap these tracks and these guys are doing vlogs i guess i guess that's where it's, it's at now i'm gonna end it on this no, just like Kinzia said, YT beef is so pointless and a waste of energy if you're not gonna meet up and scrap in real life. And for the fans, no matter whose side you're on, you still gonna watch both parties vid after it's over with. At the end of the day, everyone gains from this. No one loses a single thing. Everyone's views is doubled, quadrupled for the smaller channels. Everyone's gaining subscribers. No one is losing anything at the end of the day they're just gonna you know squash it up and be like oh yeah we are boys again and guess what they gain from it and i guess for the fans it's not so bad because we gain some entertainment from this whole thing i'm not gonna lie it's actually funny flight is one funny guy like everyone turning up again you see it's sad but it's funny as well because the guy makes everything entertaining so you know everyone benefits from this everyone gets their views the money the subscribers and we get entertainment as fans so yeah i guess that's all the tea i had to spill on this i'm not gonna go any further than this man i'm just gonna leave it here with you guys and you guys just do whatever you want to do with it at the end of the day if you think it's real or fake it's all up to you and you know how you digest that but yeah man that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys for watching man if you enjoyed it drop a like on the video i'd really appreciate it follow me on my socials at real deluxe tweet me some stuff you know follow my instagram like some pictures if you're on snapchat follow me there as well at real deluxe thank you very much i upload new videos every single day so you know if you're not so subscribe what are you doing huh subscribe or don't subscribe alone get your uncle auntie brother sister mother father everybody to subscribe to subscribe thank you and peace oh, oh disgusting guy man so dirty Ooh. I spend our cash, drip, splash, drip, splash, drip, splashes, what me do the money.